We're going to start today in Afghanistan. U.S. troops have pulled down. On my orders. Of the U.S. military operation. That began in the wake of 9-11. Versus the Taliban. In Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions to disrupt the Taliban. And at the peak of the war in this country. They no longer see a future. President Trump in particular. A desperate to find a way out of the conflict. Because the Taliban regarded them as enemies. The Taliban is starting to get prepared for the battle. So we, we've, we've moved a ton of people. Thousands of foreign troops. As the Taliban seizes more districts. Almost a fourth of the 400. They're fighting. They're taking over territory as we speak. That the Taliban basically want to take over this place. In the midst of the U.S. military pullout. Every day now. The Taliban have captured. Two decade long war. The Taliban have called it. The Taliban. The Taliban is coming back. The Taliban is serious. The Taliban managed to take control. Circling many of the major cities. The Taliban will increasingly control. Particularly in the north. The Taliban reportedly now holds twice as much of Afghanistan. Where the Taliban is launching its, its offensive. Taliban prisons in, in, in major cities. And even Kabul. So it, it, it is indeed a, a worrying sign. The United States. It's time for American troops to come home. While feeling that time is running out. All we have to do now is figure out out how ongoing Western financial and technical support internal corruption which helps feeds the the internal strap within the country can at least prevent collapse the US intelligence community has concluded the government of Afghanistan could collapse because the Taliban regarded them as enemies already most NATO and allied forces have left the country and at the peak of the war in this country the Afghan national defense forces are unable to um, even protect their own bases. In, in, in Kabul. But indeed, uh, the Taliban's advances against uh, several strategic major cities in the north is also a, a, a worrying sign. As you pointed out, uh, the situation in Afghanistan seems to be unraveling rather fast. The crisis in Afghanistan. Over the past 20 years. There's been no progress there. We paid a lot of price. And fast financial costs. I mean, we have sacrificed thousands of our troops, you know, billions and billions of our dollars in, in 20 decades of time against the Taliban. On the battlefield. For Afghanistan, this is a very, very costly war. But in many cases, the Afghan troops are either deserting or and giving their weapons and so forth. Huge number of military assets. This is not going to be the case. Well, which indicated that the Afghan government could topple. To the the Taliban and Orina joining. The Taliban, this fight is a long ways from being over. But what happens to people for whom the war cannot end? Against the Taliban, but indeed... Uh... The speculation is that the Taliban are getting ready for uh, assaulting the major um, cities. Although the deadline for U.S. withdrawal was still in place, mortar fire and machine gun fire began raining down on their position in the mountains. And there certainly won't be any progress at the peace talks anytime soon. He said that they have no intention of power sharing. Because the Taliban's definition of power sharing is, you know, 99% for us. And most of all to the Taliban. It's long signals to control the Afghanistan. It's time for international forces to pull out. And now many feel their past service leaves them marked for death. Absolutely. And I think that is a, that's a genuine fear. That the Taliban got their thousands of their prisoners released. The Taliban is going to face even more interconnected enemy forces. Islamic State is now also here on the ground. They claim they are the Taliban. As a terrorist base of operations. Regional groupings of even some of the old warlords get their people back to fight against the Taliban. Try to hunt down the Al-Qaeda operatives who planned the 9-11 attacks. And so, for the U.S. and its allies, going after Al-Qaeda meant going after the Taliban. Taliban. No one has seen any evidence yet of the Taliban separating from Al-Qaeda. Have a message for anyone celebrating 4th of July. Skip the fireworks this year. The Taliban. Because the Taliban. The Taliban will. The Taliban and. The Taliban reportedly. The Taliban's advances. So where does this leave the Taliban? I think even the Taliban. Where the Taliban is launching.